Welcome to TikTok Effect House. In this video, we will give an overview of visual scripting, which is a technique for easily creating logic flows without the need for text-based code. Visual scripting is a node-based creation system where each node performs a different function within your logic flow. As you connect each node, they will receive and pass information along the sequence. This system of connections allows you to use visual scripting to add triggers, events, controllers, and more to your effects. We will cover Visual Scripting Panel, Introduction to Visual Scripting Node, Introduction to Visual Scripting Variable, Make Your First Effect with Visual Scripting. To begin, open the Visual Scripting Panel by clicking on the Graph icon in the top left corner of Effect House interface. Now let's take a quick look at the Visual Scripting Panel. In the top right corner, you'll see the map icon, which allows us to hide or show the navigational minimap. When the minimap is open, we can drag the rectangle on the map to navigate. Next to the map icon, you'll see the home icon, which allows us to return the visual scripting viewport back to its origin. Now let's take a closer look at the visual scripting nodes. When we open the visual scripting interface, two nodes are automatically added, start and update. Start will be automatically triggered when the effect starts, and update will be called once each frame. If we navigate to the Visual Scripting panel and press the Add Node button at the bottom of the interface, a menu with all existing nodes will pop up. Selecting a node from the menu and pressing the blue Add Node button will add the node to the panel. Now let's explore Visual Scripting variables. A variable is a symbol which works as a placeholder for expressions or quantities that may vary or change. To add a variable, navigate to the bottom of the Visual Scripting interface and click the Variables button to open a list of available options. Click Add Variable on the bottom of the menu to add a new variable. We can double-click the text area to rename each variable, open the drop-down list to change the variable data type, and assign an initial value to it. Then we can retrieve or set a variable by clicking the plus sign button and selecting Get Set Variable. This will automatically create a variable node and add it to the Visual Scripting panel. Now that we understand nodes and variables, let's use Visual Scripting to make a simple effect. We'll use the Mouth Open and Mouth Close actions to change the visibility of a basic 3D cube. You can download the project package beneath this tutorial video. To start, we'll add a 3D cube object to the scene by clicking Add Object, navigating to the 3D options, and selecting Cube. We can adjust the position parameters of the cube to place the cube model anywhere on the screen. Next, let's add a Mouth Open node and a Set Visibility node by clicking on the Add Node button at the bottom of the Visual Scripting panel. After adding a new node, we can check an individual node's information by either right-clicking on the node and selecting Node Info, or clicking directly on the information icon. And let's check the required inputs of Set Visibility. Since the Set Visibility node requires an object to hide or show, we'll need to click on the Cube object in the Hierarchy panel and drag it directly into the Visual Scripting panel. Now that our nodes are set up, we need to link them, but first, let's take a look at the node ports. Ports along the left side of a node are known as node inputs, while ports along the right side of a node are known as node outputs. We'll link our nodes by making a connection from an output port to an input port. Let's try linking the appear output of mouth open to the trigger input of set visibility. Then link the entity output of cube to the object input of set visibility. Click the restart button within the preview panel and now we can see that the cube becomes invisible when an open mouth is detected. We'll repeat the same process from before to create and link the nodes. This time checking the box on the second set visibility node and then connecting the disappear output of our mouth open node to trigger it. Congrats! 
you've just learned the basics of visual scripting. Thanks for watching the Visual Scripting Beginners tutorial. We can't wait to see what you make.